we have studied binomials in our previous classes we have studied in 8th standard and 9th about polynomials here i am only going to look for the coefficients what is the coefficient of the first expansion it is 1 because there are no other terms and there is only a single number there so the coefficient of that expansion is just 1 now the coefficient of the second expansion x plus y the whole raised to 1 is x plus y so what will be the coefficient it will be 1 and 1 so the first term coefficient is 1 second expansion the coefficient is 1 1 and in the third one you can see x plus y square what is the expansion x square plus 2xy plus y square and you can see that the coefficients are 1 2 and again a 1 so i am writing it here 1 2 and 1 and what about the last one x plus y the whole cube it is x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube so the coefficients are 1 3 3 and 1 as you can see here the numbers or the coefficients here are they forming a triangle you can see from this you can see that it is forming a triangle and this triangle is called by the name pascal's triangle and you can see that the endpoints of all the levels are one in the first one you have a one second you have one one third again you have one two one so again one and one at the ends and again you are having one three three one so again there is one at the beginning and at the end so this formation is called by the name pascal's triangle this is called by the name pascal's triangle so now you have understood pascal's triangle what does this pascal's triangle helps you it will help us to find some more expansion we have found out x plus y the whole cube now what if we have to find x plus y the whole raised to 4 just what do you have to do here as we can see in this pascal's triangle 1 and 1 it will give you this 2 1 and 2 are is giving you this 3 similarly here 2 plus 1 is giving you this 3 so if i am writing the next level in this pascal's triangle this end points will be 1 i have said earlier the beginning and the end will be 1 and what about the numbers in between 1 and 3 gets added together gives you 4 3 and 3 gets added together gives you 6 3 and 1 gets added together and gives you 4 so you are getting some numbers 1 4 6 4 and 1 now what are these numbers actually we know that these are the coefficients so can we use this coefficients to find out the expansion of x plus y the whole raised to 4 yes we can write so how will you write that same let's like example x plus y the whole cube we wrote x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square plus y cube there are coefficients but there are some other important things also that we should remember that is look at the power of x it is 3 then look at the power of x it is 2 then it is 1 and the last term there is no x so that means the power of x is decreasing and what happens to the power of y there is no y in the first term so the power is 0 there is one y that is y raised to 1 power is 1 you have y square the power is 2 and you have y cube the power is 3 so y power increases and x power decreases so how will you write x plus y the whole raised to 4 since the power is 4 here we have to write x raised to 4 then x cube and y because the power of x decreases to 3 and y increases to 1 then again power decreases to 2 and y increases to 2 again power decreases to 1 and y power increases to 3 and in the last term there is no x because the y power is maximum there now we have to put the coefficients that we have got here that is 1 4 6 4 and 1 so i'll put 1 4 6 4 and 1 
And now look at the expansion. It is x plus y the whole raised to 4. Whenever you are taking a sum of two terms and taking the power, all the expansion will be positive. So I am putting a plus sign in between all these. So here I am getting the expansion for x plus y the whole raised to 4. So now you understood what is the use of Pascal's triangle.